Hello everyone and welcome back to Blitz Brigade where today we are going to be giving the Mafioso an honest attempt. This is one of the new weapons that came out with the new update that just released I think on Wednesday. And let's take a look at this bad boy. So it's got 162 damage, a whopping 320 RPM, 6% native critical chance. And let me tell you, I just played two games with this because I just recorded an episode but my microphone completely freaked out so I am having to redo it right now. I played it, I love it. So. With this one, I'm going to show you how it performs without a hat first, but I'm going to be showing you on the Axis team, so I'm just going to keep this one equipped. When I use a hat, I'm going to be using the Chef hat. Alright guys, let's hop into a game right now. Alright, here we are on the Axis team on UFO Crash Site Deathmatch. Not free for all right now, mostly because I'm just trying to do this event so that way I can win a weapon. I imagine demolishers are going to be very popular right here. So, what I found interesting about this weapon when I used it... Or rather, I'll finish. I'll finish this thought when I respawn. My waist, out sticking out of the ground when I when I died there, when I expired. Oh, this isn't. It's not free for all. <laughs> what am I doing? Now I'm like actively seeking out people who are who are on my own team to kill. This is this is funny. I'm on the red team. What's wrong with me? So something that I found really interesting about the Mafioso is that you can see from the reticle that the bullet spread on this gun is natively pretty wide. However, while you're firing, it takes ages for the bullet spread to increase beyond the outside circle. And that's something that we have not really seen before, especially with an automatic rifle. Normally it's instantaneous. Did we trade? I think we traded. I'm going to say we traded just to kind of help my, my state of mind there. So normally, as soon as you start firing with a weapon with this high of a fire rate, you'll see the bullet spread start to increase dramatically. However, this one, it's kept under control for quite some time. The Mafioso, kind of, it finds itself in a straight mid to high damage category. It's not the amount of damage that it deals per shot, rather it's how fast it can dish it out. It's this strange amalgamation between the woodpecker and the hooligan, and it is great. It works wonderfully. Let me tell you right now that if you have the diamonds, I'd rec or the gold, it does cost gold. I would recommend you pick up this weapon. It's really fun. It's a it's a fun late game weapon to use, and it, it consistently secures kills. I think after this game, what I'll do is I'll swap over to the ally's side, equip a hat, just so you guys can see what this does with a bonus 25% damage and 15% more bullet spread. Everybody's just chilling up here. The the fight's down here, guys. The fight is down here. I don't know what you're doing up there. Hope you all are enjoying free-for-all mode. I certainly am, except, you know, obviously I'm not playing it at the moment just because the event is not with free-for-all. Now, is this the UFO? I think this is supposed to be the UFO. This kind of... This doesn't exactly look like something... Oh, no. I've clicked the grenade button. Okay. It got better. Let's just throw a grenade down there. I never use grenades. Let's just throw... Let's throw some grenades. I, n I never do this. I don't, I think that's the first time I've pressed the grenade button since, since like episode 50 of Blitz Brigade. Alright, here we are in the second game on the Allies' side, so I do have the Chef's Hat equipped, so I will be, I will be firing with, can I actually? There we go, so I will be firing with 15% more bullet spread, and 25% uh, more damage. You know what, people always wonder why, no connectivity, really, why am I not surprised? People always wonder why I choose that hat when I say that I'm going to use a hat, and there is a reason for it, so I may make a video on that eventually, why I always choose that hat. No connectivity? Let me just stay still. I heard staying still helps. Hmm. Is this going to get resolved? Should I just bail? I think I might bail. Okay, here we are back again at UFO Crash Site. I left that last game because of the no connectivity. What in the world? I thought that was... I thought that was like parts of the UFO raining down, but it was just, that that would be pretty neat if that's how the game started, with little bits of the UFO crashing. Anyway, I don't know if I've already said this in this episode or if it was the in the corrupted one that I said it, but I did pick up the Brutal Winter as well as uh, the Nail Gun, because I know some people wanted to see some honest attempts with both of those, so I will be doing that really, really soon. So more than likely uh, uh, this weekend or Monday I will be doing that. Here we go, one more game because the Mafioso deserves it, and I also need to issue it a score still. It is going to be getting 8 out of 9 Fulgors. It's an astounding weapon, really great re- Oh my god, we're talking about the reload animation! 
Super satisfying, right? I am I I absolutely love it. Um Yeah, it was worth it. The only thing that's going to be he keeping this weapon back from getting 9 out of 9 is just the fact that it does mid damage. It doesn't do it doesn't necessarily do super high damage and there are weapons that do more damage. But 8 out of 9, this gun is great. If you got the gold and you don't know what to spend it on, spend it on this. This gun's very fun to use. Also, the amount of ammo in the clip is spectacular. 60, 60 in the clip, 120 in reserve. What more can you ask for? Is he in there now? Oh, he got out on the other side. Man, my eyes are not with me today. Not just yet, anyway. I've only been up for like an hour. That guy is somewhere, pardon me, that guy is somewhere else. Yeah, with the 25% bonus damage, this thing is killer. If you have the chef's hat or its equivalent, use it. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty great on this weapon. It is a perfect fit on the mafioso. There's a couple different ways that you could pronounce this gun. I've settled on mafioso. See, this is why I don't always play on UFO crash site. I always just end up running, running back and forth. Oh, did you it just caught him taunting? Taunt, that's why I don't taunt. Taunting leaves you way too vulnerable. You're gonna get punished. Oh, I'm following you. Yeah. <laughs> there you could kind of see the 15% uh, more bullet spread coming into effect. Like that was that was pretty big. Man, I so rarely come over to this side of the map. That was but that yeah that that bleh. That was pretty big. That was a pretty big amount of bullet spread. I'm just trying to find my respawn point so that way I can get some health back. Oops, I uh, ended up on the wrong side of the map. But it didn't even matter because uh, I killed that guy. Get me out of here. No, I tried to get to the pad. I tried to do the jump pad, but it didn't happen. Where can a homie respawn? Oh, I guess right here. I get Right here I can respawn, I suppose. That's pretty cool. As long as I can, uh, as long as I respawn, that's fine. I don't mind if somebody helps me respawn. Oh, let's follow him. No, don't change, don't change my gun like that mid flight. That ain't fair. Oh, look at that. I got, like, stuck on the edge. It's pretty interesting. I wonder if I can, like... I wonder if I can make that happen again. That'd be a kind of neat little spot up there to snipe people. All right, we've won. There we go, guys. That was the Mafioso. 8 out of 9 Fulgors. Really great weapon. Let me know if you guys decide to pick it up and use it. I'm absolutely loving it. All right, guys. Have a great day. If you have a second, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video. It really does help me out a whole lot. Hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.